how to make or how I made frisbee golf baskets from scraps around the shop. Let's get into it. I started by collecting a few odds and ends I had laying around to include a few barrel rings, some chicken wire fencing, some metal fence posts, and I'll admit, a chain that came from an additional Lowe's run. Then, using some scrap quarter inch ply, I set up a kind of template to outline the placement of the chains, as well as to serve as a cut template for the fencing later. I wanted 12 spots for the chains. I marked six lines dissecting the center of the template in a spoke wheel fashion. Then, I centered the upper basket ring on the template and marked the interior circumference at each intersection. After that, I drilled a small hole at each marking. With the upper ring ready, I used the template to measure and cut out the fencing panels for the top of the upper ring and the bottom of the basket. Then, I cut a long 11 inch wide length of fencing that would serve as the sides of the basket. Using the second of the two barrel rings and the long cut fencing, I started to form the basket. I cut the fencing so I could bend the top row over the side of the ring to create a better contact point for the tack welds. Then bent over four opposite sided prongs, tack welded them into place before getting to work on all the others. I tack welded them on both the outer and inner circumference. To finish off the basket, I clamped one of the template cut panels to the bottom and tack welded that as well. Then, used an angle grinder and a cutting disc to remove the overhung chicken wire. I did basically the same thing for the top of the upper ring. With that in good enough shape, I got to prepping the spot on the fence post on which the basket would be anchored. I measured 30 inches from the top of the fence post, ground away the paint and grime at what would be the connection point, and got to work first tack welding, then actually welding some metal tubing to the fence post to dissect the circumference and then the radius of the bottom of the basket for support. Before welding the radius support into place, I beveled the butt joining edge to create a well for the weld to better adhere to. With that in place, I cut a large enough recess into the bottom of the grating and then slid the basket onto its mount. After that, I again tack welded it to the cross bracing. I went through a very similar process to attach the top to the fence post as well. With the overall structure shaping up, I turned to the small ring that would anchor the bottom of the chains around the fence post. Using more barrel ring scrap, I measured, marked, and cut 12 holes in the thin sheet. Then clamped it in a circle around the fence post and welded it closed.
cutting them to roughly 24 inches in length. I set about hanging the chains by looping them through both the holes in the top ring and the small ring. To help keep them in place, I tack welded them to the top. With that, the basket was basically frisbee ready. Mr. HWD jumped in, barefoot and all, and quickly augured a hole for the fence post. For now, we're testing out the placement for each basket. Once we hammer out the final course, we'll look to using some quick set concrete to shear up their placement. To keep the yard from looking like a trash dump and possibly increasing the difficulty of the course, I decided to add a little bit of camouflaging paint to the baskets. A few rocks to help the ground settle and even add a little bracing. And the baskets were in. The last thing to do was put together these very rough starting markers. Again, these are set up to be a little more temporary than permanent as we finalize the course. I used some treated 2x4s, pre-drilled some spots for anchoring screws, and drew on the marker numbers before using a Dremel to carve them into a recess. Then, a little more camo paint was added before I used some pigmented super glue and accelerator to finalize the numbers. I added the screws. And then with a quick rezoning of some earth, the markers were set too. And that's a wrap. All in all, the course will have three baskets with two launch points each, one for the way out and one for the way back. Because you know, why not? Next time we apply welding to some actual furniture with this custom metal base three by six foot live edge oak slab desk. Until next time.